Hi YouTube. Um, today we're going to try to fix the OpenGL error on Minecraft. Uh, I just installed Minecraft on my son's computer and it's giving me the dreaded OpenGL uh, driver not detected error. Let me just log on here and show you the actual error that I'm getting. And I did find a fix for it and it uh, has to do with the OpenGL l32.dll file itself so we're going to be trying to replace that today um, so this is the actual error that I get once I start Minecraft it says bad video uh, card driver Minecraft unable to start because uh, it failed to find an accelerated OpenGL mode um, if we scroll down it gives me two errors one is the OpenGL error and the other one is the pool size error on here. Something has to do with the Java. Um, Java is already updated on the system to the latest version. You need Java to even open up the Minecraft. Otherwise, this won't even uh, start. So, um, if you don't have the latest Java, make sure that you delete um, the old version and install the latest version. Also install the latest uh, DirectX uh, uh, files. Um, let me just show you how to do that. Let me see here. Um, let's go to Google and type in DirectX and go to the Microsoft site, which is usually the first one. And run the web installer. I don't want that. And just click on run. It should automatically install the DirectX drivers for you. And yes, I want to install it. I don't want the Bing bar. I, you know, a lot of these programs are bundling in a lot of bars and ask toolbar, the Google toolbar. And you know what? If I really wanted it, I'd just download it myself. Be careful with that because I've seen a lot of computers that have all that stuff installed and they had no idea how it got there. Okay, so now that we have the DirectX drivers installed, we have the latest Java installed. Now, uh, what we're going to do, let me see here, like I said, is um, trying to replace a particular file, and I'll tell, show you which file. Uh, open up your Windows Explorer, go to your C drive, go to your Windows folder, go to your System32 file. Let's move this over a little bit and we're going to be going over to the O's um, it's going to be open GL file right there let me see if I can zoom in on that so that's the file that we need to actually um, replace um, I don't like deleting anything in Windows. I can rename it. I'd like to rename it. Um, but in order for us to do anything on this System32 folder, we actually have to um, change permissions on it. And I'll show you how to do all that. Okay, so first things first. This is the file that's giving us all the problems. So what we need to do is download uh, another file that acts the same way as this Open32 uh, OpenGL32.dll file. Okay, I'm just going to minimize this. Let's go back to Windows Explorer. And up on top here, I'm just going to type in uh, oops. Titanium. Go to the second link, the one with the software rendering versions. And it 
it's going to take you to this page with a few columns here for the different operating systems. And for our purposes, we need the Windows version. It doesn't matter, I don't think, what uh, what version Windows you have. It supports everything from 98 all the way up to Windows 7. I'm not sure if it supports Windows 8 yet. Um, maybe in the future it will, but as of uh, this uh, recording, it is only going up to Windows 7. So, I'm going to download it. Save it. And I'm going to save it to my desktop for now. That way you can see exactly what we're doing. Okay, running scan. Done. Okay, let me close this. Close this. And the zip file that we downloaded is right here. Now, what I want to do is extract this, because we can't do anything with a zip file. I'm going to extract the whole thing back to the desktop. Okay, so this is the zip file. Let's tidy things up a little bit here. Delete that. This is the actual folder, which is inside subdirectories. And you really don't need everything else. The only thing you need on here is this open GL32 file. So let's take it out of there and move it to the desktop. Now we can go ahead and delete this folder. Okay, so now we have the actual file that, we're, that we are going to be replacing the one in the Windows folder. Let me just show that back to you. Again, this is the uh, on the C drive, go to the Windows, go to System32, and um, on the O's, just look for the OpenGL32 file, 32.dll file. So what we're going to do is try to replace this file. I'm going to, I'm sorry, we're going to try to replace this file with this file that we just downloaded. Okay, um, but like I said, if you try to uh, um, change anything on the Windows32 file, any any thing in the system 32 you're gonna have a specific error and I'll show you that okay so let's try to rename this file let's rename it opengl32 old okay because I don't want to actually just delete it and overwrite it um, just in case we might need the original later on instead of reinstalling Windows all over again reformatting the hard drive this is probably the easiest way to do it Okay, so this is the error you get. Uh, you need to provide administrator permission. Okay, we click on continue, assuming that we are the administrator. And then it tells me you need permission to perform this action. You require permission from trusted installer to make changes to that file. All right, well, I don't know who trusted installer is. So actually, that's just the default uh, uh, name that Windows gives to uh, Windows itself to give uh, uh, is to not give any permissions to anybody else except for Windows to make changes to the Windows directory that makes sense okay so click on try again nothing's gonna happen okay so basically what we need to do is give ourselves permission to be able to change anything any file in was in the uh, system 32 uh, folder all right so let's go back show you how to do that let's go back to well, let me just start it up again that way make things easier for everybody all right go up to your C drive go up to Windows go up to system 32 just highlight it uh, right click properties go up to the securities tab go up to the advanced and the lower right up to owner and again the current owner for this particular uh, directory is trusted installer now we want to change that okay so we'll click on edit click on administrator and click on apply if you have just taken ownership of this object, you will need to close and reopen the object's properties before you can view or make 
change permissions. Okay, so click on OK, click on OK, click on OK, click on OK. All right, and might as well let's close everything, let's start from scratch again. Okay, so let's go back to Windows Explorer, go up to uh, C Drive, Windows. System 32, you right click, properties, security, let's move this over a little bit here, let's go to advanced, go to owner. Now you see the owner is the administrator for this particular computer, which is me. It's no longer that trusted installer. So now that we have the particular owner changed, we have to give permission to the administrator to be able to make changes. Okay, so let's go back here. Back into the System32 directory. Right click, Properties, go up to Security. Now we're going to scroll down to the administrators for this particular computer. This gateway desktop is what I named this particular computer, so it could be different on yours, but you get the one that says administrator. Click on edit, and if you see there's nothing here that is checked. Okay, so let's give ourselves full control. Okay, click on apply, change permission. You're about to change permission. Do you want to continue? Of course we do. An error occurred when applying security permission to Windows System 32. CPX access is denied. That's fine. Click on continue. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, hmm. All right, you know what? Let's cancel that. Let's do it again. Let me see here. Right click, properties. Let's go up to administrator. Okay. Oh, okay, there you go. Alright, so as administrator for this particular System32 folder, we now have full control. We are able to modify, read, write, etc, etc. So I'll click on OK. Alright, now let's close this and start all over again. I like to start from scratch, that way it gives the system a chance to catch up with itself. So go back to the system, uh, go back to your C drive, Windows, go to your System32 folder. Now let's go back to the OpenGL. If we can find it, always the hardest part is looking for it. Okay. Uh, change the views on here that way we can differentiate it go to the details view and then we're going to go back to the O's all right the open gl is right there and Make it, e make it easy for everybody. Uh, just look under the date modified section. You know that this was that uh, was modified 7.13 of 2009. Okay, we're going to differentiate that with this particular file. Okay, let's try to rename this file first. So, right click the name, right arrow on your keyboard, get rid of the blue, and let's rename it OpenGL32 old. Okay, so I click on enter, continue, there. Now we're able to rename a file that's in Windows 32 without giving me that that error saying that I need permission from trusted installer. Okay, so now we're going to be moving this to this particular directory. Okay. Um, let me see here. Let's do a 
instead of doing a shortcut, let's do the whole thing. So cut, put it in here, paste. Administrator privileges, it's yes. Okay, there we go. So now we have two open 32 DLLs. One is the old one, and one is the new one that we just downloaded. And again, you can take a look in case you didn't get a chance to change it or whatnot. You can see that this one was uh, modified 610 of 2013, just last month. Oh, this month. Um, and, oh, dread, that's today. <laughs> anyway, um, so now you have both OpenGLs, 32s, on your System32. Okay? And that should be it. Let me close this window. And now let's try the Minecraft. Let's see if we get the same error that we got before. Log in. Bam. Mojang window is up and running. And just to make sure that it is working, there you go. We are all set. Now, um, a lot of people have been trying to find uh, solutions for this, and I think this is the easiest way of doing it. Um, I do have a Windows... Um, uh, seven uh, computer, so I'm not sure if this fix will work on the Windows 8. I have yet to try it. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, that's it. And if you do like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to be making another video uh, on how to um, link your Minecraft uh, account to your Dropbox uh, just so that you can update your or you can play Minecraft on whatever computer you want without you know um, uh, reinstalling your worlds and all that all right if you like it uh, please subscribe um, thank you very much